Hello everybody, welcome back to another Smash Bros. Terrain video. Sorry for a really long hiatus about the videos. With school and everything going on, it's kind of hard to find time to write the script, record, to write the script and then record it. So I'm sorry about that, but I'll get right back to it. These videos are probably released on a week back to school and not on the week between because it'd probably be best like that way. So anyways, let's begin. So the first video will be, will be about Crouch Cats. Like, very useful, but also very... I'm not, I guess the, du the double-edged sword of the tech skill. So let's begin. I'm using um, re recorded pre-recorded gameplay to show you guys. So hopefully, I'm able to pace myself better in this without having to you know make it really awkward and have those odd pauses in between. So let's begin. Let's play the replay. Okay. So crouch canceling is a tool that you can use that allows you to take not only reduce knockback, but uh, sorry, reduce percentage, but also massively reduce knock. Uh, yeah, knockback from certain moves. To perform as crouch cancel is really simple. All you must do is simply hold down, as you'll see the Peach do right here. So that's the first step, most essentially what you must do to crouch cancel. All you must do is hold down because you are crouching, hence the term crouch canceling. And then, I was so what you do is you take you crouch right before you get hit. So the Fox will do an up smash here. And as you can see, instead of the Peach going flying up on taking the damage, she actually stays still as if nothing happened. That's how you crouch cancel. That is exactly how it is. The reason how it works is that when you're crouching, you have a much higher, what I call at least, flinch resistance. And because you're automatically placed lower, because the character's model is placed down, you're automatically DI'ing towards the floor, meaning you instantly hit the ground if you were to fly up. However, you cannot crouch cancel moves that have a natural spiky. Uh, you cannot crouch cancel moves. Such as, yeah, like also crouch cancel leg attacks, it's not only just smash attacks. You crouch cancel a grand variety, most moves can be crouch canceled. However, and I'm going to show it here in a couple seconds after these jabs. The down tilt, see, so again, you can crouch cancel a lot of things. Speed up a bit, on a fresh stock. So, however, while you can crouch cancel a lot of moves, you can crouch cancel multi jabs. So, see here, you can't crouch on that, but this, as you see here, even though she's holding down, she still cannot get out of it. Because moves like jabs, spikes, and dr like multi-hitting moves, you cannot crouch cancel that for reasons. I'm not exactly sure it's part of the game. You can probably research it if you want to, but you simply cannot cancel multi-jabs and moves that naturally moves that hit you more than once in a quick succession, and moves that have a natural spiking priority, such as Falco Downer, as I show here, Fox's Down B. So usually, so she is crouch canceling right there, and she did not. Not, she did not not flinch, meaning she she did not flinch, or she did flinch, right, she did flinch, sorry. She did flinch, although with reduced knockback, however, that means the crouch castle is unsuccessful. I see, I'll do it again. In comparison to, say, this, where I did shine, shine her, she goes a lot farther. Again, it can mess up your opponent's placing and positioning with the moves, however, just know that you cannot crouch cancel moves with spike with uh natural spiky priorities again multi hit moves so if i continue here so onto the segment where crouch canceling actually is against you the double edged sword part so some moves as you saw there the fox multi jab can actually work against the crouch canceling and the one of the most notorious case is the peach versus fox matchup in the down smash so usually what peach down smash does is that it will usually do around 30 percent on most characters and on any of Fox. However, if the Fox is attended crouch cancel because he doesn't want to take the hit, he will instead take 64%, an additional 30% that he usually would take. Not only is that ridiculous getting 64% off of a one move, it can also eventually kill him at 60%. So I'm gonna set the stock right here. So instead of the only 34% if he was simply doing no DI. So it's a 30% difference. So knowing when to crouch cancel and what moves to crouch cancel, most importantly, can you see the difference taking again 64% in one move or 3%. So on top of that, on the topic of DIing downwards, DIing downwards can also prove extremely useful if you know how to use it. So as I said with the Peach Down Smash, the reason why you get hit by multiple hits is because when you're DIing down, you get hit by a left part. Then you, you're DIing down, so you get that right part, left part, right part, and then you end up with 64% within 3 seconds. However, on certain moves, for example, Sheik's forward air or Peach's down smash, if you are to tech it, so I'll put it in slow-mo. Oops, sorry, I have to hold it, but if you were to do it in slow-mo right there, 
I might as well just reset the video, for a sec. Because actually, it's really important because this allows you to live in many scenarios. Because DIing down what does is that you're naturally going towards the ground. And if you're able to tech it, as I'll do in my next video, actually, you're able to live at much higher percent than you usually would. Slowly just speed up this video. Get to the right moment. I forgot to hold the L button. Alright, so, if you are to DI, if you are to DI downwards, wait a sec. Get body by, and then there, at this moment, you take the floor. Usually, you go flying upwards, and I think I'll show the next part, where you get sent like that, without upwards DI, meaning that could be a different state of stock, I think I'll get hit by another down smash. Again, if you're doing the usual survival DI, and holding up or right, sorry, up, if you're holding upwards, that will actually put you in a good scenario. However, if you DI downwards, and to detect the stage, it actually puts you in a better scenario. So while crouch cancelling does give you so suddenly 64% and it can also save you in scenarios that will usually kill you or put you in a bad position. So I think that's essentially the end of the video. Right. Also, uh, what was it? Also, sorry, I forgot about that. Some moves eventually cannot be crouch cancelled, meaning it, again, it's based on which moves. Like some moves can be cra cannot be crouch cancelled at 30%, but some moves can be crouch cancelled till 60%. As example here, I stutter around a bit because I have one controller. Trying to call. You can crouch cancel Peach's running attack at very high, low, uh, medium to low percentages. As you can see here, you can crouch cancel it. However, once you take a lot percentage, at around 54%, you can no longer crouch cancel that. You will go flying up at around 50%. So it's a lot of knowledge and knowing exactly when to crouch cancel when your character is limits to be crouch cancel. Because if you think, oh, I can crouch cancel one more dash attack, but then you get crouch, ca you don't crouch cancel it, and then you get hit by a peach fair, and then you're dead because you did not know which move to crouch cancel. As you can see, so yeah, that's that was the video so re replanted. So thank you very much for listening, and again, crouch canceling is a lot about knowledge and knowing which moves, how much a character can crouch cancel, which moves he can crouch cancel, is is based on your own knowledge, a lot of practicing, labbing it out. And also on your opponents, because your opponents will obviously have more or less knockback based on what they're doing to you. So again, thank you for uh, watching, and I'll see you guys next time.